Bruce, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Windows 7 PC. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video, and I'm going to show you how to factory reset your PC. If your PC don't want to come back on or your, your PC is on and you got terrible viruses and everything and you need to factory reset the computer, here's some steps on how to do that. First of all, if your PC is able to boot up, you need an external hard drive and take all your documents, pictures, music and stuff and put it on your external hard drive. But what if your PC comes on and it does a boot loop? It comes on and it shuts off and it comes on and it shuts off and you want to do a factory reset upon booting. Most PCs you have to hit F8 or F9 when it boots up. So what I'm going to do today is I got my little PC here and I'm going to go ahead on and hit the power button and I'm going to hit F8. So I'm turning it on. And I'm hitting F8. Just keep pressing F8 when you see the boot uh, screen pops up. Just hit F8, F8. You're going to be greeted with this. Now you have what's called repair, your computer, safe mode, and all this other stuff here. Enable boot logging and stuff like that. But what we want to uh, focus on today is repair your computer. So, and make sure your power cord is plugged up. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead on and hit the enter button. And what it's doing is it's loading Windows files. Again, this is Windows 7. Uh, you could do this with Windows XP. Not sure, uh, yes, Windows Vista. You can also do this with that. So what it's doing right now is loading the files. And what's going to happen is it's going to greet you to another menu. Uh, it's going to ask you what kind of keyboard method. We're going to hit next. If you have a password in, enter your password. But this computer does not have a password. So I'm going to hit OK. And right here, what it says, choose a recovery tool. You could do startup, repair. What happens there is it fixes some things uh, when your windows don't want to start up. And you have what's called System Restore. Uh, if you have this set up on your PC, it, you can restore to earlier point. Um, then you have System Image Recovery. Uh, what this does is it, again, you have to have this set up. Recover your computer using a system image that you created earlier. So nine times out of 10, you never created a system image recovery. But if you did, you could always press this. And you could do what's called a Windows Memory Diagnostics or Command Prompt. And that's basically advanced, so we're going to stay away from that. And the last one here says Recovery Management, Restore System from Factory Default. So we could go down and press Record uh, Recovery Management. And what it's going to do now is it, it gives you here, Completely Restore Your System to Factory Defaults. Restore your PC to factory default status. All data on C drive will be deleted. Okay. Uh, then the next one has restore operating system and retaining user data. Now that's the option there. But here's the problem. Let's say if you have a virus. Uh, sometimes your PC is running slow. You, if you do a uh, restore operating system and retain all your user data, you still will have that virus on your PC. That's why I recommend using an external hard drive, guys, to back up all your documents, files, and music. And you can use a little thumb drive here if you don't have a lot of space, if you don't have a lot of stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a complete restore system to factory defaults. Again, guys, this is gonna erase everything on your PC. Now, I'll give you another note. This action will erase everything, basically. So, if we recommend this recovery, and this is important um, for you guys, 
We, re we recommend this recovery if your PC, if your computer is infected by a persistent virus or malware. Now, this is what I'll do if I have a virus on my PC. This is what I recommend to a lot of people that uh, have computers want to do it themselves. And so here we go, hit next. Okay, so it's giving me my petition information, stuff like that. Just hit next. Again, it say we erase everything. Hit OK. All right. Guys, I do these videos to give out free information to help people out. When you have a virus on your PC and you just, you're not knowledgeable on how, on how to uh, get rid of viruses, all you have to do, guys, is just back up all your systems, all your files, all your documents, all your pictures on the external hard drive, and just do a complete factory reset, a complete factory restore, and bam, everything on your PC is completely wiped out, all the viruses are gone, everything is gone. And you can start from the beginning, just like you just opened up the PC, guys. So, that's some helpful tents, uh, tips on how to factory reset your PC. So right now, my PC is doing a complete restore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the video uh, and come back when it's almost done. Okay, guys, the system has reached 99%, uh, about 12 minutes in it right now, guys. So uh, the system is still doing the restore. So this may take about 20, 25 to 30 minutes to do, uh, but be patient. Let it go on and run its course. Hey guys, so I'm back again. It's finished, it did a couple of reboots, and now I'm right here. At this point, you are almost done. All you have to do is, and this should look familiar, just like you just bought the computer. You have to type in your name um, and what type of computer it is. So I'm just going on type my name. Yeah. Okay, and hit enter. And password, I'm a, it's recommended that you put a password in, but I'm going on and hit next. And you have to accept all the license agreement and all that good stuff. So scroll down. Make sure you accept everything. And if you, you can read it if you like, but I'm just going on and go next. And we're going to use recommended settings for right now and the clock, all that good stuff. And keep hitting next. And right now what it's doing is it's finalizing the system. I'm using a, a, a Acer uh, PC with Windows 7 starter, but uh, you can, it works for any Windows 7 XP, Vista, um, that's running Windows. Now... As far as once you boot up the PC and you hit F8, you can hit some laptops or computers you have to hit F8 or F9. So it, uh, most computers vary. But uh, once you get to the first screens and you follow these directions, you should have no problem. And again, once you finish this, you will have a factory reset computer straight from scratch and you can start all over again. It will run perfectly fast. Make sure you got an internet connection. You might have to download some drivers. But you might have to do a Microsoft Windows update. Uh, if you have a PC that's on Windows 7, you might get introduced to Windows 8. So it's up to you to do that. Watch some of my other videos about Windows 8, how to install Windows 8. I do have uh, videos on that. Uh, so this, uh, find those videos on my channel. And right now it's preparing my desktop. Uh, I say it's gonna take about two minutes or so. Um, but other than that, you are good to go. Just waiting on it so I can show you guys my desktop. And and we're done here. It, it took maybe about 20, 25 minutes uh, to get this done. But if you follow these steps, you should have no problem of getting this done to get a factory reset computer. Now. If you look at my screen there, it has nothing on it. It's completely stocked, just like I just bought it. No problems. 
All right, guys. And right now, it's just doing some. It, it's ins- installing some of the software. But uh, other than that, once this is done, you are completely finished. Thank you guys for watching my videos. This is Eric again from Easy Computer Solutions. Give me a thumbs up on my video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And also leave me any comments. Um, and I'm always willing to help. I give out free information to anybody that's in need of help. See you on the next video. Peace.